Hey guys, this is Gloria. I am back to share with you guys some projects that I completed using some Alina Craft, Alina Cuddle dies that were sent to me in my design team package. Um, she came out with some awesome dies this release and um, a special thank you to Nicole. I will link her information down below. She is one of the designers for Alina Crafts and she has been doing an awesome job creating um, beautiful dies and stamp sets for us to use. So without further ado, let me share with you guys um, some of the dies that I use. So the first one that I use is this little florist die, and these are great for almost any project. You can just cut these out and um, stick them in and use them as fillers um, on your cards, on your boxes, on whatever. Um, they just make awesome embellishments. Um, I also use this tag set, and this is becoming one of my favorite tag sets. Um, I just love the um, doily cut at the top and the little um, indentations. It makes it look very, very shabby chic, and I believe Nicole created this one. Um, I also love that um, they created these little squiggly lines right here that can be used on the cards to make pockets and stuff like that. And you can also use these on other projects um, where you need to make a little slit or something like that within your project. So let me show you what I did with those. Um, so the first one that I did was this little tag right here, and I think it came out super duper cute. Um, all I did was just cut the tag out twice, and then I used a little swiggly um, piece right here in order to cut the top of the tag, and then I just layered that on top. Um, this is the little flourish piece right here. I just cut it out and kind of tucked it behind this little card right here. And that card came from Tuesday morning. And then um, it's just the back part of the tag um, in the back. And I just thought that that came out really cute. And it's a very simple tag, but very, very pretty. The next tag that I created, and it's not finished. This is going to actually be a part of a tag flip um, that I'll come back and share with you guys. But this is um, the other part of this tag right here is at the bottom. And then I also... Um, just uh, glued on a whole tag on the back of this one and that one has hearts on it and I just stuck these two smaller tags in the inside these also come from that tag um, uh, set that Nicole created very very cute and I just stuck them in there just to show that that is a pocket but they won't stay in there I don't believe but awesome way to um, give a gift to a crafty friend is to make this really cute um, little tag pocket and stick some um, embellishment goodies down inside of there so I love the way that that one came out as well you can also still decorate the front I was going to put like a heart or something on the front and like I said I'm not finished with this one yet because it will be part of my um, tag flip that I create um, the last one that I created with that tag set was this one right here and I absolutely love the way this tag came out so what I did was I cut the tag out of, you know, just regular um, pretty uh, floral paper. And then this tag right here, I actually had a piece of scrap paper that had some scallops on it. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. And so what I did was I just ran the die again with that um, scrap piece of paper keeping those scallops uncut and then just cut the other side and then just lined it up and glued it on top. I think that came out super cute. I also used another die from my stash and a little um, lip balm pouch that came from um, my favorite things and I just made a little lip balm uh, tag with this one. I thought it came out really cute and I put some tulle on the top and a little bit of twine around the tool to dress it up but really really cute and then this is how it looks on the back you can also use one of those rip um dies to put on the back in order for the uh, recipient to open it up from the back but i didn't do that in this case i just left it the way it was but i think it came out really really cute so um, i'm having a lot of fun using that particular tag die love that die so thank you so much nicole for creating that um this die set is so pretty and I love it. Um, and thank you, Alina, for sending that to me. So let's move on 
The next die that I'll share with you guys is this one right here, and it is a flower die. And if you look closely, this one can be embossed, and it has like the little um, petal vines in it. Very, very pretty. It's five different dies, and you can keep them all together and just run them through your die cutting machine so that you can cut all five at the same time. Very, very pretty um, little flower for your projects. The next one that I used was this one right here, and I believe Nicole created this one as well. This is um, created to be a little shaker um, tag or just a dimensional tag. There are some smaller dies right here that you can use as your shaker pieces, or you can use your sequin, your seed beads, different things like that. This part right here actually fits on the back of the shaker, and um, it just creates this really pretty scallop on the background. Very, very pretty. So let me show you what I did with that. This is what I created. I thought it came out super cute. Of course, I made a shaker with it. And um, I put sequin and beads and different things down in the inside. This is that flower right here. And I put a little pearl in the middle of it. I believe I used one, two, three, four. Just four layers, not the fifth layer. But very pretty. It makes a very dimensional um, flower. This is just some um, floral paper from my stash. Um, they don't make this paper anymore, unfortunately, so I kind of use it sparingly. Um, and as you can see, on the back side, um, that is foam glitter on the back side of that. And I thought that came out really cute. And it's just a, it just makes a little scallop layer on the back of your um, little shaker part. Um, this is what the back of it looks like. And you can put some twine through the top and hang this on a package. Or you can put it on a card. It's just really cute. You can also stamp out a little sentiment and put it right there. Elena has some little tiny sentiments that I was thinking about putting on there, but I just didn't do it right now. Very, very cute. I love the way that came out. So that is the project that I completed using those two dies. The next one that I'll show you is this one right here. And I love, love, love this little bag. It is very small, but it's super duper cute. Let's see. I'm not sure if I gave you guys the measurements before. So let me just take my little ruler out of this plastic. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so this looks like it's about four almost four and a half inches wide almost it's about uh two sixteenths away from four and a half almost and it's gonna stand as tall as two and almost a uh two and almost three fourths tall but um it makes a really really cute bag and it comes with all of these other different pieces you have some hearts and some flowers you have this little cute bow right here and then these little pieces this um helps you make the little bow you know wrap it around the middle and then there's these little tiny tiny pieces so i went on and put it on um a magnet sheet so that i wouldn't lose those pieces but this one is really cute and i also want to show you guys how to put this one together because it may be just a little bit confusing um, for some people but um, let me show you my examples first so this is the first one that I created and it has a little window in the inside I did use the heart um, die on the inside of here um, I think it was like the smaller one let me grab the die again so it was this one right here and I just put that right there and use that to cut a window out of the um, the front of here. I also took a piece of scallop paper that I had um, in my stash and I just put that underneath the scallop flap and I think that came out really, really pretty. And then this is some tool from my stash and it has like little pink beads on it. Very, very cute. But as you can see, it's a small little box, but you can put in there um, sequin to give to a crafty friend. You can put a little, you know, a few pieces of candy in there to give to a non-crafty friend or a crafty friend. It's a really cute box. Um, the next one that I created was this one right here, and this one is in the gold poster board. And then I just layered a little heart and some of the flowers that also came out of this um, particular die. And the back flower came from the last set that I just shared with you guys. I just put a little bit of tool to close it up at the top. You just thread it through the little hole there, and then that's it. And you have your little box, and that is what it looks like on the back. Really, really cute. And then last but not least, I did create this one right here. 
and this one is just using that floral paper i love that paper so sad that it is sold out or they're not making it anymore but super cute um, i just layered two hearts and um, kind of pinched the hearts up on the corners really cute for valentine's day so these are the ones that i created the little samples that i created and like i said i'm going to show you guys um what they look like so these are the cutouts um, that you get when you cut out the large you know the largest die that's in this set and this is the bag right here um it might be a little easier to show you on the floral one so let's try that so let me just move these out the way real quick and um it's really straightforward but there is a part on here um so this right here is a um tab and then as you can see you have the um perforated lines here and so all of those perforated lines are going to fold so you just you know easily fold all of the perforated lines like you would normally do okay now this particular line right here um i think that this perforated line should have went straight down or um this line should have went straight across either way um it still can function correctly um so what you're going to do when you come to this tab is you're going to fold on the perforated lines but you're going to fold and extend all the way down to here and you know that's the way that i found it easiest to do you can take your um, bone folder and make sure that that's creased pretty good but as you can see there is no score line or fold line right there but you want to make sure that you fold or score all the way down to the bottom of that okay and then everything else is just straightforward so you're going to fold that and you're going to fold that and now you have all your lines folded okay and then you're just going to glue this little tab right here you can use wet glue or you can use um a tape runner if you want i'm just going to use some wet glue and this is um tacky glue um that i just put in a in a fine tip bottle these fine tip bottles are great um, when you're, you know, making your projects because you get a chance to just put a little bit of glue. So you're just going to fold up your tab just like that. Make sure you don't put too much glue like I did. It doesn't take that much glue. And you're going to fold that down and just make sure that that's glued really well. And you want to make sure that it's glued good because um that bottom tab that we scored on is actually going to be folded so you want to make sure that you do that right and you know what let me open that back up real quick because while i'm talking i think i did it a little crooked okay okay so the good thing about this, before I put this together, is you can actually make a bunch of these and just, you know, have them sitting flat and ready to use when you need to. Um, or if you're going to go ahead and put it together, you're going to want to um, kind of pinch the side like this. And these tabs on the side are just going to fold down just like that, right? This bottom flap is going to fold this way, and it's the flap with a little hole in it. So you're going to fold that down. There's another little flap right here. You're going to fold this down, and this little tab, you don't even have to glue it. It's just going to stick right down inside of there, and it's going to hold the box together. Isn't that awesome? Popped out. But um, you can put glue on there if you want. My other boxes didn't pop open. I don't know what's going on here, but um, that is how that would be. And then you would just thread your um, your ribbon like this. You would just thread it through. See, like the bottoms of these, I, I didn't put any glue or anything on the bottom. I'm not sure why this one is not holding together like the other ones were. But you can always, if you want, put a little bit of glue on this tab. And then stick it back down inside of there. And then open that up and stick your finger in. And make sure that that tab is attached. And now it won't pop open. And then you'll just put your little um, ribbon or twine or pop, uh, pop palm trim. Whatever you decide to put in there to close it up. And then you have your little box. It's so cute. Let me show you what it looks like in the inside. Very, very cute. 
and this is the back side love this little box so that is about it that is all that i wanted to share with you guys today i will be back with more projects as i get them completed i want to come back and show you guys my um little tag flip that i create and then i want to use some more of the dies that i was sent in my design team package hey guys as always if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and i'll get back with you as soon as i possibly can i will leave the links down below so that you that you're able to click on and find these pro uh, products easier and i hope that everyone is having an awesome day take care guys bye